This is a short movie of self-recorded outdoor reflections by Xiang Li, a design master student in system or AD design at the Oslo School of Architecture and Design. As a part of the blog course, designing circular mountain systems, we spent daily time in nature to find analogies for the eight governors, scales of resilient regenerative systems, from green chemistry to transnationalities. These scales were adopted to fit scales in human-nature connection, and our course project, green chemistry, raw materials, shelter, belt-ups, connected belt-ups, community, landscape, reading, open urban links, and circularity in our own life. What if we make use of wasted natural resources like leaves and branches instead of industrial materials? What if we use the natural materials directly to reduce processing and chemistry? What if we build ski and ski locally to reduce traveling? What if we change the goal of skinning to make fun instead of skinning faster? Can we learn something from the connection between natural materials to replace glue? Can we learn something from the natural materials and the structure? Can we make a plant-based layer to absorb shock in skis? If the natural materials is high cost and not durable, is it more sustainable? How can we reuse and repair materials of skis like nature? We build and shelter from natural material and support. What is shelter and which is shelter? When I zoom in, I find the shelter of the shelter. There may be not only one shelter at the same time. When shelter collapsed, it can be the other shelter. Shelter can be open space and open source. Shelter can be also from inside, not only from outside. Is artificial intervention in belt of negative or positive? There are conflicts between different species in one belt of, or they can share different sides of one belt of. Species can find opportunity proactively for belt of. Is the boundaries between different belt ups clear? All the boundaries are blurry. Belt-ups can build connections by sharing common resources like water. It's a connection between different belt-ups for mutual benefits or competition. Belt-ups can build connection on existing resources by themselves. We can build new infrastructure for connection, or we can build hints to strengthen connection. How does the climate affect the community? Intervention may affect the continuity of community. There is a dialogue and connection in common area. The community share the ritual together. Can we look at the small scale landscape as mini hamster? Landscape and climate can affect the connections and flows. How do humans activities and infrastructure affect? Landscape can also affect location and speed of material flow. Can it also affect money and information flow? 
there is a diversity in one region. What's their connections? How can we use regional assets in a sustainable way, based on natural resources and social resources? How can we know our footprint on the natural resources? Can we build cultural identity on regional resources to make it different from other regions? Urban urban links depends on time and the landscape. Which link path should we choose? And uh, what affect the path? How to plan the path? We can take resources from Alpen. What support can we bring to Alpen? Should we choose different link paths in different conditions like weather? How can I reduce the use of resource in my life? Like so snow can be melted to water as resource. How can I reuse the resource in my life? As the nature reuse the dead timber, how can I build social contact, interaction, and support with others? Like what's inside the forest? How to build a sense of community and belonging in my life for sustainable relationship?